We're going to add to this circuit a switch. This is the symbol for a switch. This, in particular, is an open switch. In order for you to understand what happens with an open switch, I'm going to open the switch in the present circuit we have, which looks like that. So class, does circuit, does current flow in an open switch, with an open switch? Class? No. no. So notice, with an open switch, we have something called an open circuit, which means that the current is not going to flow. So we have called an open circuit. No current flow. We close the switch and we get something that looks remarkably like what we just had, but with a closed switch. So this is a closed switch and it creates a closed circuit. And in a closed circuit, current flows. Technically, just so you know, this resistor right here would be called the load on the battery. And that load could be one resistor, it could be a series of resistors. Um, it's whatever is in the circuit with the battery. I want to talk about your basic light bulb. This is your basic light bulb. In the outlet for your light bulb, you have two contacts. So here is your standard incandescent light bulb. This right here is the resistor. This particular resistor is designed, again, to give off light energy. Um, we have two contacts. We have one contact right here, and we have one contact which is actually in the, along the threads of the outlet. In other words, what's the electric potential difference between this point right here, point A, and this point right here, point C, here in the United States of America, Kurt. So right now, there is an electric potential difference between these two points of 120 volts. When I take the light bulb and I thread it into the socket and it gets all the way down to the bottom, we will then have a connection here and a connection along the threads and you will have current that flows all the way through from here, through the resistor, and back down. The resistor, of course, is designed to give off light. Now, I want to talk specifically about this piece right here. This piece right here is between the two contact points. Who can tell me what type of material that must be then if it's between these two contact points? Learn. An insulator. It is an insulating material. Remind me, what does it mean to be an insulator? Sharp. Current doesn't flow through it. I'm not going to say it doesn't flow through it, but it's very difficult for current to flow through it, right? So it is, the idea is that it prevents current from flowing between these two terminals. If for example, we had an issue and current did flow through these two, uh, between this point and this point, bypassing this, this resistor, we would have something called a short circuit. A short circuit. A short circuit. What is a short circuit? Please do not say a really bad movie from the 80s starring a robot. Nikolai. Isn't that a circuit that has some resistance? Technically, it can't have zero resistance, but one that has very little resistance and is not a circuit that it's designed to have, right? So it is a short circuit is uh, a circuit with very low resistance. In other words, you are bypassing the load. Whatever load is designed to be on the circuit, you are bypassing, and therefore, you're going to have very little resistance in the circuit. So some basic terminology here. We have the terminal voltage, the EMF, which are both the uh, potential difference across the battery. We have open and closed circuits and a short circuit. 